up guys, Johnny here with Team Legit. Today I've got another exciting product for you guys. I'm actually really excited about this product. Um, as you guys know that we are the exclusive dealer for the Overcraft PDBs. These are the PDBs for the ZMR frames. They allow you to integrate a lot of different features into your uh, mini quadcopter. This is the version 2 of the Overcraft PDB. It's got uh, uh, a little bit of functions for minimum OSD and a couple 5 volt regulators and things like that on board. But today's video is not about this PDB, it is actually about the Nucleus. The Nucleus is a PDB that we've been working on with uh, Wads of Quads. He's the actual designer and the engineer who put this board together for us. When we found out that OC may not be doing a second batch, we decided we got to get on this train and we got to help everybody out by getting a new board. Uh, during that time, Wads of Quads and I have been in communication and we've been talking about a bunch of different features that we can add to the actual PDB. So uh, here I've got in front of me is the Nucleus board. It's a very nice, very elegant elegant board. It looks great. It's got a lot of uh, integrated features in it and I'll, I'll go over a couple of them here for you guys. Uh, first thing I want to mention, major difference between the Nucleus and the Overcraft PDB is that the Nucleus allows you to solder your contacts on the top or the bottom. So some of you guys run in those uh, Moray spacers in your quadcopters. You can now run all the wires underneath and you can have them tucked in there nice and neat. You can put all your uh, ESCs on the bottom if you wanted to, if they, so long as they fit in the spacer. Another really great feature is that the beeper is now allowed to be also mounted underneath going with those Moray spacers. So you get a nice clean top plate and all you'll have on there is your uh, OSD and your flight controller if you choose to run an OSD. So that's a really, really great feature about the uh, Nucleus board here. Uh, another really great feature is this board has three onboard 5-volt regulators, so you can run three different things 5-volt if you needed to. Um, I personally don't have any use for a 5-volt regulator because I use the BEC on the ESC, but some of you guys that are running those Opto ESCs, this will be a really great feature. Another really cool thing is there is the motor trace pads uh, soldered onto the actual PDB. So from now on, you'll just run your ESC, you'll run your positive and your negative, then you'll run your BEC positive and a negative for uh, motor number one or ESC number one. But then you can another doubled one on motor number four. This is if you want to use the motor number four ESC, the back that's on the ESC, to uh, say power the LEDs. LEDs tend to be noisy, so you don't want them to go and interfere in your video system. Um, flipping the board upside down, uh, you've got a total of eight LEDs on board. Uh, these are really nice and bright LEDs. I'll get them plugged in for you guys here. And uh, these LEDs are semi-programmable. And I say semi-programmable is because, as you can see here, there's some traces that need to be either grounded or are shorted out together for the LEDs to work. Or you can use the port here on the side. It's called the WS2812 port. And you can have a LED programmer in here to do such things as on and off when you activate the nays through uh, clean flight or base flight, you know, however you want to program those in there. Going back to the top side of the board, I mentioned to you guys that the ESC wires are uh, now soldered. The signal wires are now soldered directly to the board and they meet at a common junction. We'll be, uh, we'll, we're going to be trying to include the header pins in your purchase so you don't have to source them. You can basically solder in header pins here and uh, put jumpers directly into your flight controller. One thing to note is that the trace wires are exactly the same length for every single motor. Uh, one, one really good feature about that is you won't have any syncing issues of uh, one ESC reaching the flight controller faster than the other. They're all the exact same length. Um, some of those guys running those turbo ESCs or those high speed ESCs, uh, they may be having some sync issues because the cables are not the same exact length. So we uh, went ahead and uh, Wads of Quads has eliminated that as uh, one of the potential issues. Like I said, guys, a lot of thought has been put into these boards. Um, you've got the onboard minimum OSD points. You can solder your minimum OSD directly onto the board, save you guys lots of space and wiring. Uh, you got your video in, video out feeds right here onto the board, so you've got your telemetry data feeding right over your video. You've got the pads here to put a Polulo 5 volt step up or step down um, booster on there, so if you need to run anything higher or lower, it's on there as well. A couple other things to mention is this board has an RSSI filter built right into the board. So you can actually plug your FR Sky uh, receiver PWM port right into the port. You can solder it down in there and feed that into the OSD and you've got an actual RSSI converter. So that's a really great feature to this board. Uh, up front we've got a bunch of camera pad 
voltages, you've got a 12 volt, you've got video regulated, uh, ground. We'll get into different features of those uh, later on in the next video. Uh, speaking about the next video, we'll have a bi complete build video showing you guys how to set this up on your uh, quadcopter and how to install all the features. I'm not going to do a complete ground up video because as you see I've got plenty of quads here myself but what I do have is a friend of mine's quad and what we're going to do is we're going to transfer all the electronics from that quad onto this guy here. So stay tuned for that. I want to thank Wads of Quads for creating this board and spending so much time and man hours into the design and the engineering of this board. I want to thank you guys for watching and I want to thank uh, all the subscribers for our channel. And uh, if you guys haven't had a chance yet, make sure you guys click the subscribe button. There's a lot of really cool products coming out this year. Uh, we're working on a couple of really neat things I think you guys will really enjoy. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to leave that in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like. That's what tells us to keep working harder. And uh, if you guys have, uh, haven't checked us out yet, make sure you check out our website, www.team-legit.com. These will be on the site here real shortly. I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching. What's up guys? Johnny here with Team Legit. Today we're going to do a build video for the uh, ZMR250 with the Team Legit Wads of Quads board. You can also utilize this video for your Overcraft version 2 boards. Um, what we're going to do here today is I'm going to transfer all of the electronics from a non-PDB board to a actual PDB board. Um, this video will also help you guys with your complete build from the ground up. It'll tell you where to solder your connections, how to solder your connections, and which points you need to address. Um, instead of doing a full build, I have a friend of mine's quad here. He wanted me to transfer all the electronics from his quadcopter to the PDB board. So the video may vary just a little bit from a ground up build. If you guys haven't seen the uh, Overcraft PDB board build video, um, I'll post links in the description below. And also you guys can click right here and uh, there'll be... A tutorial on how to build it from the ground up so if you haven't checked that out make sure you guys watch that first that'll kind of help you get things going and then you can integrate that video and what you learned in that video to the new board and how to clean up wiring just a little bit more so stay tuned let's get started <music> 